Viewpoint Molecular is targeting radio pharmaceutical therapeutics for cancer. And with me is the CEO, Tay Spohr, to explain exactly what the company is doing. So let's just start with this kind of bird's eye view. What is the, the vision and the mission of Viewpoint? Sure. No, thanks, Jane, for having me. Uh, Viewpoint Molecular Targeting, we're focused on personalized cancer care. And so what we believe is we can kill cancer from the inside out. So rather than hitting cancer from the outside in, like external beam therapy does, mm -hmm. we want to take patient-specific doses and treat the cancer from the inside out. Okay, very interesting. Now, is that um, the Theranostic approach? It is. So okay, so explain that. Yeah, so Theranostics is the approach of using a diagnostic and a therapy together. Okay. And so by having the same chemical entity do both. So we'll design a drug that will go to a cancer cell and show on a scan that the cancer exists. Mm -hmm. And that same compound, we can then also swap out the isotope and then make it, have it deliver a radiation therapy dose. And so by giving an alpha particle straight in the tumor, we can kill the tumor directly with an alpha particle. So the theranostic bit is we have the diagnostic and the therapeutic both combined within that same molecule. So does that help the patient in terms of not as much side effects or like that you would see with chemotherapy? What is the benefit? So the benefit is we can actually better predict in advance which patients could respond. Okay. So if we give a patient the drug that has melanoma, for example, um, about half the patients don't show our drug, which means they should not receive the therapeutic version. And so rather than taking a hit and miss approach and saying, all right, you have this cancer, we're gonna give it everything we can and hope things work, mm. we can tell in advance that the drug will show up in the tumor and therefore it should get a response rate. So it really helps us only treating patients that should benefit from the therapy. Okay, well, and I can imagine a, a, as a patient would appreciate that, that they wouldn't have to take all these extra drugs and maybe suffer from some of the ill effects of that. Correct, and then any drug has side effects. And so you only really wanna give drugs or therapy to a patient that should respond. And so we can really fine tune the patient selection with those that should respond mm -hmm. versus those that would be less likely to. Is that approach proprietary to Viewpoint? So the approach is not proprietary. What's proprietary is we've actually designed our system. So our drugs use a proprietary, what's called a chelator. This is a way to safely capture the radioactive element and bring it to a tumor. And we've also have uh, intellectual property around the actual compound itself. Mm -hmm. So we'll iterate that compound to be as sensitive as possible to just target the tumor on its own. There's been quite a bit of interest recently in companies developing these Theranostics. Uh, recently, Novartis bought AAA for $4 billion end of site for $3 billion. And so there's a lot of interest from Big Pharma getting into the field for targeted therapies. What differentiates what we do is we use the same compound, the same element, to try and get a perfect correlation between the diagnostic and the therapeutic. Well, I was going to ask about that. Like, is there a clinical trial for this kind of therapy? And if so, what are the results of that? Yep. So mm -hmm. we, uh, we've, we've done several animal studies initially. Okay. We did a human study last year at Mayo Clinic Rochester, where we did several melanoma patients, and those results will be presented later this year. Uh, but the summary of those results was we actually could pick up certain melanoma tumors showed our drug. And if they showed our drug, that patient should be eligible for therapy. We did some extraordinary animal work and went to the FDA and said, for neuroendocrine patients, can we actually get a fast track designation? So can we get the full support of the agency as we try and figure out how to you know, develop this drug? And they said, absolutely. They, they're really supportive of what we're doing and, and where it can go. Yeah. Which means then this year, we expect to be in clinical trials for two different drugs in patients with either melanoma or neuroendocrine tumors uh, in the US and then opening up to sites abroad. Okay, so two trials this year. So then when do you think, say best case scenario, mm -hmm. this might be applicable to cancer patients? So the nice thing about uh, cancer patients going into clinical trials. It's a regular part of how cancer patients get treated. And so once we find our therapeutic dose, then patients can benefit by being in the clinical trial. And so we expect to have a dose that should work in patients figured out sometime at the end of this year. And then that means that subsequent patients that go into the clinical trial should all receive a great benefit from the therapy. Yeah. Well, and if you're getting the fast track, that should help spur it things does. along a little bit as well. Are you working with any other biotech or pharmaceutical companies on this? So we've actually had as a, uh, an interesting history. We came as a spin out of the University of Iowa. Mm -hmm. uh, the company founders, Dr. Michael Schultz and Francis Johnson, identified a really cool technology, but it had a few things that needed to be added. A proprietary generator, a proprietary chelator. They didn't exist, so they just invented them. Mm -hmm. And so we've done an awful lot in-house of actually building up our own capabilities rolling it out to other to patients and centers across the world, 
We need partners in the form of contract manufacturers that can do the just-in-time production of our drug, and then also collaborating with some terrific institutions and investigators to bring the technology to patients. Okay, so this year you've got the clinical trials. That's why, I mean, that's gonna be a major pivotal year for yes. you. It sounds like 2023 will be. Is that correct? And what are you looking for? Oh, to absolutely. This, yeah. this is a major trend. It, it's the, once you get into clinical trials, it's the end of the beginning. Mm -hmm. And that's when the excitement really starts. We're able to go forward and then figure out how the drug can be best used in patients with the disease. Yeah. So we expect those results this year. We actually have several compounds we expect to also bring into clinic later this year for, for validating human images. And once we get a good human image, we know we can then treat that human. Yeah, okay, well, Taysa, you're doing important work. I hope it all works out for you. Please come and update us once you get these clinical trials so we can get an update on how it's all going. Thank you, I'd love to. Okay, Thank you for having me, John. Uh -huh.